Welcome. I am going to show you how to use Clean AI's lip sync feature to create realistic talking videos using your own AI character, like this one I just created here. Hey, I'm the new member of the team here to assist with marketing your brand. So here's the thing. We all want to create professional looking content, whether it's for our brand growth or to generate traffic. But one thing to know is that the way we communicate as businesses is changing fast due to the advancement of technology and AI. Like very soon, being a CEO or a business leader won't just mean having your photo on the wall or in your company emails. You'll probably be ushered into a room real quick where they just get a whole bunch of pictures of you to create your likeness and hand that to the marketing department. So in this case, it just won't be your pictures going out in a poster or in the weekly emails. It'll be AI videos of you. I'm talking about ones that have been generated of you that'll be speaking directly to your audience. And that's where tools like Clean AI come in for businesses. And you think about it right now, you send emails to hundreds or thousands of people all at once. Those messages still represent your thoughts, your ideas, your tone, your brand voice, even though you're not writing a mail individually to everybody that it's going to. And that's what's exactly starting to happen now with video and AI. We are entering an age where your digital self, your avatar, is going to blend into your professional life, most likely. Because now you can deliver your message in video form, speaking to thousands just like your emails do today. So learning how to use these tools isn't just a creative skill. It's a communication skill. Every business leader or owner or marketer, content creator will need. And you might say, hey, I'm not going to use it. Just wait till you see the guy next to you, your colleague using it and converting. And you'll probably be like, OK, I need to get on that bandwagon. So in this video, I will show you how I created an AI character for BizCrown Media to help deliver digital marketing news updates, to use in outros, to use in intros, all strategies that I find valuable. Because you think about it, I don't have the time to always create marketing news update videos. So an AI avatar can help with that. So by using Kling AI's lip sync feature, I can have AI characters present updates for me, helping the business stay consistent, visible, and also relevant. So whether you're a business owner who wants to show up more professionally online or a marketer who creates branded videos featuring your clients, your team, your executives, or a content creator or video editor who wants to scale production and deliver more value, or actually someone looking to start a side hustle, creating AI videos for brands, for clients, this tutorial is for you. And you want to know why? Let's talk some numbers. When it comes to using AI generated digital avatars for business communication, this is a growing trend with executives, marketing departments, and customer service teams adopting the technology. Market projections indicate a steep rise in adoption driven by demands for scalability, efficiency, and personalized customer experience. So you can see it's really taking off. Looking for a side hustle? Check out this stat. The AI avatar market was valued at $2.5 billion in 2024 and is projected to skyrocket to $63.5 billion by 2034, with an annual growth rate of 38%. It also says it's a high investment priority. AI adoption is a top priority for 83% of companies. A significant majority of CEOs report that their involvement in AI strategy has increased over the past year. Now, when it comes to applications and adoption across business sectors, it says while the use of AI avatars for high stakes business communication, like sending messages to clients is still emerging, it is already being adopted by major leaders. Executives at companies have already used AI avatars for tasks like quarterly earnings calls. When it comes to CEO sentiment, 75% of CEOs reported personally experimenting with or regularly using generative AI in their role. A survey also revealed that 34% of executive leaders would allow an AI avatar to make decisions on their behalf. And 97% of business leaders plan to increase spending on AI tools over the next few years, recognizing it as a strategic necessity. Now, when it comes to marketing and sales, AI characters and virtual influencers are gaining traction for marketing campaigns, content creation, and customer engagement. The virtual influencer market is projected to reach $170 billion by 2034, 
Virtual influencers can achieve higher engagement rates than human influencers, with one study finding rates three times higher. It also says 50% of marketers use AI to create content, while 45% use it to brainstorm content ideas. Now, when it comes to customer interest, some customers are open to brands using AI influencers. A 2024 report shows 37% of consumers might be more interested in a brand that uses an AI influencer. Now, jumping over to the business motivations part, which really supports what we're doing here, it says, AI avatars can create personalized digital experiences for consumers at a massive scale driving higher engagement. So this lets you know the opportunities that lie in this industry. So I'm going to show you how you could do this to start having ideas. So you could start brainstorming ways to use this for your content creation. Let's dive in. If you haven't, and once you are logged in to your account, you get to see this dashboard over here. Now, when it comes to AI lip syncs, we go to video. Once you click video, it takes you to your video dashboard. When you get to your video dashboard here, you get to see all these options you have here, but we are looking to lip sync. So you go to the left over here till you find the little lip icon here that says AI lip sync video generator, and then select that. Now you will notice it says click drop and you will notice it's a video icon. So this lets you know that you have to drop a video here that the lip sync is going to work with. But you must be wondering what video am I going to drop there if I haven't created a video that suits the purpose for what I'm doing that I'm going to put there. And that's where you create your avatar and you could go anywhere to create your avatar. You can go to Gemini, which is a very popular place right now to create it, put in your prompt to create exactly what you want that suits your business. You can actually go and cling AI here. You can go to images over here to be able to create that any place that you want. Now, after you're done with that, the next thing you do is you have to turn it into a video that you're going to upload in the AI lip sync part. And so the hope is that when you're creating your avatar, you're considering the background that you want so that when you render the avatar, it's going to make sense. Also the movement. So as you can see here, this is the video that I've made that we are now going to animate. And you see, it says a close up shot. The woman stands facing the camera in a modern office setting, wearing a bold red suit over a white blouse. She holds eye contact with the camera, blinking gently and smiling subtly. Her expression is confident and approachable. She begins speaking calmly, her lips moving in sync with the voiceover. Smooth and realistic facial motion, minimal head movement, lighting is soft and professional. No background distractions. And as you can see here, this is the reference image right here. That was the image I uploaded to be animated into this five second video now that I can add a lip sync to. So this lets you know a couple of things. You are limited by the time frames, right? You only have five seconds and 10 seconds because when you render videos in Kling, currently right now, you can't go over 10 seconds in total. So you have to keep in mind that your script, that you are going to be having the character lip sync has to fall within those parameters to not make life hard for you later on when you're editing. So that's step one is you create your reference image. However, whether it's an avatar that you've created and you have it there, you come into Kling AI, you go to professional mode or whatever mode you want, and you put in the prompt for how you want the model to move, how you want the background to be when they are talking. So as you see here, this video is similar to what they have over here. So if I were to just select this video over here, as you can see, when I play it, she is in talking right now. And the whole idea is that when I come over here and put in my words that I want her to say within this time frame and click add speech that I'm good to go. But here are a few things. You have the option of coming in here and putting in the text that you want. So if I come in here, then put in my text it says, thank God it's Friday time to have fun. I can sample different voices to know exactly the one that I want. So when I press play, thank God it's Friday time to have fun. It's sampled David and I have different categories, whether I want 
profession, male, female, boy, girl, young man, I believe, young woman, kid, middle age, old, you have all these opportunities, all these options. Thank God it's Friday. Time to have fun. So you see that so you can hear that, how your speech will be. Now, also, you can adjust the speech rate here. Now, keep in mind, when you adjust the rate, I have noticed it doesn't work with the samples. So if you were thinking, oh, if I adjust the speed rate here, I'm going to see how it works. You won't get that. You also have emotions. So you can pick happy, angry, sad, fearful, disgusted, surprised, all these emotions that get attached to the lip sync. Now, if you don't want to type, you could also upload local dubbing. You could upload an MP3, a WAV file, where you have audio that you want to be lip sync. But in this instance, we're doing text to speech. Now, here's the thing. You see, this is short. I'm sure this is shorter than five seconds. But if I were to add this here, when I click add speech, I'm clearly going to see that my speech is longer than my video and that won't work. So I'm not going to do it here just not to burn credits because I just want to show you. You also get to adjust the length of your timeline here so you could see that too. Now, once you click add speech, you get to see your video. So right here is the video where we've lip synced. And as you can see, it says lip sync reference video. You could tell the reference video was this video right here, which we got from this reference image, which I just created. And so in content creation, at least with AI, what I've learned is they like to call this the base image and they like to call this the base video, which then becomes the output that you can lip sync. So it takes those steps. Now the hope is, you know, as the tool evolves, it becomes something like a Google VO where you just go in and you just type in your prompt and you say, Hey, I want this picture to say this, or I just want a random creation that you can create for me to talk and say this. So who knows, Kling might be evolving towards that, especially when I see the Kling AI lab here, which is totally a new feature that I've not explored. But as you can see, it's an AI lab and who knows, if after exploring this, you probably could add sound right away to a picture if you uploaded it in here, but at least using the interface right now, you have to go through these steps. Now, clear distinction between both of them is the fact that, as you can see, the lips aren't talking here, not moving that much. They're still moving, but not that much. But over here, the lips are moving based on the lip sync. So I'm going to turn up the volume again now and you can hear it. Hey. I'm the new member of the team here to assist with marketing your brand. And so, so with that, you could create a host of stuff with the brand colors, however you want your model, and you can create as many models as possible. As you can see, we have a lot more here. You can see this is actually up to 10 seconds. She's walking from a reference image right here. This is the reference image right here. So it's quite longer. And then over here is the lip sync. Welcome to BizCrown Media Content Creators. In this week's roundup, we'll cover the latest AI updates for marketers and creators. We're talking about AI powered agents. So you see, following the movement of the reference video from a reference image. And as you can see, could you tell it's AI? Probably with the way the lips are moving, but the technology keeps getting better. And just the fact that I can customize to fit my brand colors, to put in a space that I want that matches the brand, just makes it superb and professional. And are there concerns? Absolutely. As you see here, concerns and risks, fraud, executive impersonators, scams using deep fake voice and video are on the rise. A significant percentage of businesses expect to be targeted by such fraud. Trust and authenticity. Concerns exist regarding authenticity and misrepresentation. And some consumers remain skeptical or uncomfortable with brands using AI influencers. And so will be some people will say, hey, I do not want you to use my likeness because of this. And also ethical implications. So there are concerns, but you think about it, the upside, just like their concerns with sending mass emails, just like their concerns with sending several posts out, you know, their concerns with all these things as well. But the ability to be able to do this, if you have great ideas to be able to create content for various outputs, for marketing, for businesses, for side hustle, I mean, it's limitless. You see, it's all about prompting and uploading and that's it, which just makes it awesome. But I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see helpful content that helps you grow your brand, increase your visibility, and be successful. Till next time, take care.